Look at the upturned wing tips. Those are nine feet tall. That gives you just an idea how big this airplane is.
States Air Force has flown over 16,500 combat missions supporting joint operations overseas. As a proud member of an all-volunteer Air Force, we hope our performance has inspired you to serve your country alongside the professional men and women you see here in action today, either flying in the cockpit of an F-16 or an F-35 or the ground guaranteeing its readiness to fight. If interested in find any member of the Air Force demonstration team or your local Air Force recruiter, any of these warriors will answer any questions you have and help you set a course for an amazing Air Force career. On behalf of your United States Air Force, the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Mike Holmes, and all the men and women of Air Combat Command and Air Education Command, thank you for your attendance and thank you for your patriotism and support. Lightning and F-16 Viper taxi back to parking. Andrew McKenna in his P-51, part of the United States Air Force Heritage Flight, flying that beautiful aircraft, no markings on it, just like it came out of the factory for World War II. A lot of people do not know, as he comes in over your left shoulder now, that the airplane was not a United States Air Force Air Merlin engine. No. There is no formation. In this formation, Blue Angel number four, the slot pilot, will be positioned outboard of Blue Angel number two on the right wing. From there, they will initiate their takeoff roll, transition to the diamond on liftoff, and perform the diamond burner go low transition on takeoff. As the diamond clears the flight line, the two solo pilots will begin their takeoff maneuvers. In a dynamic display of the thrust produced by these General Electric engines, Commander Weiser will roll Blue Angel number five 360 degrees immediately after takeoff with the landing gear still extended. Shortly after that, Lieutenant Davies and Blue Angel number six will perform a precise low transition, pull the nose straight up, and exit the flight line inverted to the right. Runway now, establishing the fingertip formation. They'll accelerate their engines to 85% power. Carefully check their engine instruments and give Commander Bernanke a thumbs up, indicating they're ready to go. Ready now, and the Blue Angel Diamond is rolling. As they pass before you, you will notice that the smoke is not visible while the engines are in afterburn.
Minecraft 207. <laughs> placed upon naval aviators is that they be able to land Demonstration pilots that you have been watching perform here this afternoon are but a small part of the Blue Angel team. The men and women in blue uniform standing before you are members of the elite Blue Angel maintenance crew. Through hard work, many long hours, and unselfish dedication, they have each year for the past 71 years provided us with the aircraft availability necessary to perform these flight demonstrations. As the aircraft taxi back, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the Blue Angel maintenance crew. Command Master Chief Blake Schimmel from Wheaton, Illinois. Maintenance Master Chief Matthew Heathcote from Bradford, Illinois. Maintenance Chief Sean Bell from Orlando, Florida. Chris Massica from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Crew Coordinator Jay Simeon from Cheek, Texas. Crew Chief Number One Robert Weiderhausen from Sterling, Virginia. First next, Sean LaCurcy from Phelan, California. Crew Chief Number Two Sarah Shank from Rogersville, Tennessee. First next, Zachary Goodnight from Lewiston, Idaho. Crew Chief Number Three Justin Mowry from Commercial Point, Ohio. First next, Yael Martinez from Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Crew Chief Number Four Jonathan Croden from Bronx, New York. 
first neck, David McMillan from Daphne, Alabama. Crew chief number five, Richard Sweeney from Westfield, New Jersey. First neck, Cody Rich from Huntsville, Texas. Crew chief number six, Michael McDuffie from Blackshear, Georgia. First neck, Sean Barnes from Hudsonville, Michigan. Crew chief number seven, Anthony Petronas from Converse, Texas. Our runway alert crew, Jeff Sears from Henderson, Tennessee. Michael Hearn from Lake Forest, California. Jace Gerard from Ellicott, Colorado. Shane Miller from Woodbine, Georgia. Tim Jose from East Berlin, Connecticut. Quality Assurance Representative Justin Hanks from Mayer, Arizona. Aerospace Medicine Technician Ryan Schaefer from York, Pennsylvania. Public Affairs Representative Daniel Young from Leavenworth, Washington. Video Technician Mallory Morshita from Gardena, California. Rod Britton from Orange Park, Florida. Logistic Support Representative Kwame Kusi from Kumasi, Ghana. Zeta Archie from Sumter, South Carolina. Maintenance Control Representative Matthew Miller from Lydis, Pennsylvania. Life Support Representative Abigail Bonsu from Africa, Ghana. Cruise Support. Hiro Guidi from La Ciba, Honduras. Nicole Oviedo from Los Angeles, California. Music Choreographer Jaime Del Toro from Fresno, California. Our C-130 Crew. Our Flight Engineer Stephen Stewart from Jacksonville, Florida. Navigator Jason Glassfelter from Holtwood, Pennsylvania. Flight Mechanic Anthony Black from Newport, Ritchie, Florida. Loadmaster Bo Bevel from Manhattan, Kansas. In-Flight Safety Observers Ulysses Maldonado from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And Ori Hinkle from Chicago, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 Blue Angel Maintenance Crew.